so far we're off to a good start. So this is just like the movies, just like when the Ewoks stole the speeder bike and these uh, scout troopers have to go after them. They hop on the speeder bike, flip the switch, and... <laughs> <laughs> oh no, what are you doing? Oh, cool. I don't know how you have orientation, man. I don't. That's a problem. Oh, lady. And, yep. Hey guys, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Alex and this is Austin. How's it going, guys? And today we have the speeder bikes. The highly anticipated quads from Air Hogs. Now, obviously, we're uh, used to hobby grade quads and things that fly airplanes, stuff like that. Um, this, I would say, is more of a toy grade, obviously, but we're huge Star Wars fans. So what do you say we just cut to the chase? Let's get, let's get these things in the air. Let's fly them. So I will say, um, I kind of had a feeling of how this is gonna fly. And it does fly good. It's nice and stable. There's hands off, drifting a little bit to the one, one direction. Um, it does have like a, a self auto level. Um, technically, you can learn to fly quad with this. It is. It does have all the basic controls. So on your right thumb, you have roll and pitch. Um, so nose down, nose up, and then roll left and right and then on your left thumb you have throttle and yaw just like a real quadcopter if you're looking for a first quad more for the flying experience rather than a novelty star wars collectible um, you can find something for about half the price that's going to fly just as good if not better something like an ominous um, or even like a little inductrix or a nano qx um, but that being said if you're a hardcore star wars fan and you want to fly speeder bikes through the forest uh, this is a great way to do so. <laughs> if you're really into Star Wars and you want to, you know, use it as a, you know, an indoor flyer, like a gymnasium, I imagine a gymnasium, this would be pretty cool. And I'm sure it's going to be a good showstopper too. Like a lot of people, especially who's not a Star Wars fan, is going to stop and check this out. What do you say we go to the shop and see if we can hop this up and make it go a little bit faster? Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, right now we're doing a little surgery. Uh, we don't think we need their motors and props for what we're about to do. We're going to uh, make this speeder bike fly like a real speeder bike. All right, so we went to our team of highly skilled engineers and we came up with this. What we have here is the Fox Tech Screamer, um, which we had laying around. And the unique thing about this is like a normal racing quad. It's all carbon fiber. It's got some pretty beefy motors to begin with. But then on the back, it's got this giant 2500 kV motor, 2208, um, which hopefully is going to push this thing along pretty nicely. I think that we might be able to get up to the same speed as a real speeder bike. I think so. And the cool thing about this, the reason why I thought this would be a good idea um, is because normal mini quads or quadcopters in general fly like this to move forward because they don't have this motor on the back. This one, since it has the pusher prop, it's going to fly straight, just like a real speeder bike. So what do you say? Let's put in the air. Let's give it a shot. So far, we're off to a good start. So this is just like the movies. Just like when the Ewoks stole the speeder bike and these uh, scout troopers have to go after them, they hop on the speeder bike, flip the switch, and... <laughs> <laughs> oh no, what are you doing? Oh, okay, okay. I don't know which way it's I don't going. know how you have orientation, man. I don't. That's the problem. Alrighty. And, yep. Where's that at? What happened? <laughs> it flew away. <laughs> <laughs> it flew away. I didn't hear a bang though. Oh no. It's a speeder bike crash scene. Oh no. Alright. So the initial... The initial crash observance... It seems... It seems like the GoPro's seen better days. But... Luckily, the stormtrooper escaped with just one missing foot. We lost the foot. <laughs> he had it locked into his speeder bike. When you're riding speeder bikes, you never want to lock your boots in because when you crash, it's going to come right off. Assessing the quad, looks fine. Good to go. Broke one prop, but it could still fly with the four. GoPro, dead. Oof. KIA. That's, that's no bueno right there. <laughs> Still rolling. It's Gotta give it credit. Cool. It's rolling. Ooh. Let me see that. Ooh, Ooh watch the, the glass dust. Yeah, you gotta watch that. We're back. 
we're back. It's the next day. We did some improvements. So we fixed the prop. We got a pink prop on the back now. Um, we fixed the FPV setup on here, so we're actually going to be able to fly at FPV. We also adjusted the camera. We, the uh, the scout trooper there has a uh, a nice little chest cam. It actually fits really nicely. Literally. It's very it's fashionable. Per perfectly scale. <laughs> and now it's it's pretty terrible conditions out today. It's really windy, it's rainy, but hey, that didn't stop the Imperial from uh, chasing after those That's rebel true. scum through Endor. So <laughs> we're going to give it a go and uh, hopefully it, it goes a lot better than yesterday. Let's try it. I think it, there's no way it can't. <laughs> is probably the coolest Star Wars thing I've ever seen. It is literally, when you're racing through the trees, it literally feels like you are racing a speeder bike, which is pretty awesome. We wanna thank you guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so. We do new episodes like this every Monday and Wednesday. Anything that flies, you can find it on our channel. Um, check us out on all the social media, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> it, it flew over the dirt pile and... Probably, so should we go find it? Try to disarm it. Yeah. <laughs> It really goes fast, man. Speeder bikes, they get away from you. Oh, <laughs> my Oh, my God. Stefan, come on, Stefan, I need your help. I give me. I can't. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs>